everyone, and here's another tutorial from DrawingNow.com. Today's tutorial will cover how to draw a house step by step. This time you will need paper, pencil, eraser, and colors. Let's begin. Here you are going to start with the roof, and it's going to look kind of like a slanted rectangle kind of like it's falling over so here you're going to start at the top left corner here and you're going to draw a line across and then here is where it's going to start slanting a little bit more and you're going to draw a line down but it's going to be slanting to the, to the left a little bit and then get here to the corner and then you're going to draw another line across to the left going to the left here and then this line is going to slant a lot more so it's going to go up but it's going to be slanting to the right and then it's going to connect to this corner here and now you're going to draw the front of the house and so you're going to start here not at the corner but a little bit over and draw a line straight down for the side of the front of the house and then a line going across this way and then a line going straight back up again it's not going to connect to the corner of the roof here it's going to be a little bit over so right there but make sure you get the line goes all the way up to the roof here and now you're going to draw a line going across this way for the side of the house but make sure that it's slanting up a little bit so you're going to start at this corner here, going across, and then when you, once you get here, about here, you're going to draw a line going straight up, and then once you get about around in line with this line here, you're going to draw a line going up but slanting to the left here, and you're going to connect it with the roof here, but make sure it does not go to the corner, it's a little bit over. And then once you connect the line there, you're going to start at this corner here and you're going to draw a line going down this way along this line. So start here, draw the line going down this way. And then once you get in line with this line here, you're going to draw a line straight across and connect them. And now you're going to draw the window on the front of the house. So you're going to start here. It's going to be a rectangle shape and then go across, draw a line straight down, draw a line going across again, and then drawing this line straight down here. And now you're going to draw two lines in the window, so one here, and then another one here, and then you're going to draw a line along the bottom in between them, going this way, and then you're going to draw a line in the middle of the window, going down here in between the two lines, but make sure it doesn't cross this bottom line here that you drew. It connects with it, but it does not cross it. And then you're going to draw a line across the two lines, across the middle of the window, starting here, and going across the middle, going there. Now you're going to draw the door on the front of the house. So you start Next to the window here, draw a line straight down, connecting to the bottom of the house, and then a line across, and then another line straight down, connecting to the bottom of the house. And then you're going to draw a line here, and it's going to be part of the square for the window on the door. So you start here, draw a line, and then the square for the door. And now you're going to draw the window on the side of the house. It's going to be like the one on the front of the house, only it's going to be slanted a little bit. So you're going to draw a line across here, down there, and then go back to this line here, going, drawing a line straight down, and then another one across. And then you're going to draw the two lines in the window again, one here, one here, and then the line across the bottom there, and then the line in the middle of the window here. And remember, it will not cross this line here, but it'll connect to it there. And then the line going across the middle of the window there. 
And now you're going to draw the chimney. So you're going to start here at this at this corn edge of the roof. And you're going to draw a line going up but slanting a little bit. Not too far. And then you're going to draw a line straight across and then going straight down here. And it's going to connect to this side of the roof. And then you're going to draw another line starting at this corner here going to the left but it's going to slant down a little bit going there not too far not as far as this line went so going down this way and then you're going to draw a line going straight down connecting to the side of the roof here and now you're going to draw a small circle here in towards the top of the side of the house for the window in the attic just a small circle here and then you're also going to draw a small circle in the door on the left side about the middle of the door so there for the doorknob and then a line straight across the bottom of the door here and then you're also going to draw some stepping stones leading up to the house and so you're going to start with one in front of the door right here just a little funny looking rectangle on the ground and then you're going to draw the next one keep in mind that as you draw each one there's going to be four and as you draw each one they're going to get a little bit bigger each time so another one here and then the next one here and then the last one here Now these don't have to be per absolutely perfect. They are they are rocks, so they can really they can have not straight lines and straight lines, so it's okay. And now you're going to draw the grass and the the line between the sky and the grass. So you're going to start at the right side of the house and you're going to draw a little bit kind of squiggly lines not completely straight it's okay starting here at the side of the house and then drawing a few spiky shapes here to show the grass and then ending here at the end of your page and then you're going to go to the other side of the house on the left side and draw that side as well again a little bit of a squiggly line not really straight it's okay and go here a few more spiky shapes for the grass a few more spiky shapes and then ending at the end of your page there and now we're going to draw the bushes in front of the house so these are going to be kind of in a triangle shape but they're going to look like bubbly triangles so here we're going to start at the top with the bubbly curved curving line going here at the corner here and then continuing kind of how you would draw clouds going here at and then you're at the next the other corner and then going back up towards the top and then there and now you're going to draw some squiggly lines in the middle of the bush to show that it has different layers to it so here you're going to draw one and then the another one on top above that and then you're going to draw another bush on the other side of the stepping stones under the window here so you're going to start at this corner at the bottom right corner here draw your bubbly squiggly line and then you're at the top and then draw your bubbly squiggly line going down the other way and then draw the line going across here and again you're going to draw the two three lines in the bush squiggle there and there and right there and now you're going to draw some clouds in the sky and so you're going to start across from this little attic window here on the right side of the house so you're going to draw the cloud the top of the cloud there and then the bottom of the cloud here 
and then you're going to draw the next cloud on the other side of the house on the left side so you're going to start at about the roof here big bump here and then going across bump 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 there and connecting it to the roof to the bottom of the roof here and now you're going to draw some bird shapes they're going to be m shapes so you're going to draw two little birds here little m shapes and then two more on the left side of the house above this cloud here so two one two and now um we're going to watch the coloring part in a faster speed but if you would want to watch it slower or in normal speed you can go to our website and watch it there Now here, the bushes are shaded to show the, the depth. So you can try this shading if you want. And also, if you would like to try this shading on the house here, the sides of the house, the side of the house is going to be darker than the front of the house. The color is going to be a little bit darker because that is where the shadow is because the light is hitting the front of the house. And also the side, this part of the roof here and the side of the chimney here is also going to be a little bit darker. Now you can find the coloring page on our website and print it out and you can also print out the step-by-step -step images. Thanks for watching and please rate and comment this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also visit drawingnow.com for thousands of more free tutorials. Thanks, and see you next time.